as well. But at the end of the first jump in Liberets in the Czech Republic, it's the World Cup leader Espen Bredesen, the Four Hills champion, who leads the way 121.1 points. And uh, the distance he achieved in the first round, 121.5 meters ahead of the home favorite uh, Sakala. Italy's uh, Roberto Ciccone, a very good leap from him of 116 meters to occupy third place ahead of the Slovenian Robert Meglik, who jumped 111 meters to get 100.8 points. Know and know that he's determined in his own way to do better. Here's another young man, Tommy Ingebrigtsen, 96 and a half, his first effort. Ooh, untidy and short. Tried to leave it late, but Rua Jukalsoy, the uh, young Norwegian, who uh, got a personal best at Murau last weekend when he finished sixth, and he's one of only two or three who've scored points in all of the ten jumps that preceded today's competition. Ninety-nine. Has he got the extra meter? Remember, the men who lead were jumping 110 to 121. Those the uh, leading leaps after the first round. 102 meters. And uh, extended that well, Werner Ratmar. Signs of a return to form at Innsbruck in the Four Hills. When he finished uh, seventh, five times a World Cup winner. And uh, well to the fore in the uh, ace. Another Norwegian talent. Ger Atli Avern. Good body position, but uh, came out short and a bit two-footed. 103 and a half for uh, the first type. Would be happy if he could uh, double that up, I should think, after the uh, jump, but almost unanimity amongst the style judges, but less than 100, suffering on distance, and it's really the distance which is so crucial these days in the marks. Ari Pekka Nikola for Finland, 103 metres. And Nikola, well, he's been third here back in 1989. Little better than the 103 the first time. Worth noting, as uh, we wait for Nikola's marks, that Tony Niemann, the Olympic champion, he uh, did uh, contest the qualification here, but he didn't jump the necessary 84 metres, 110, and Nikola finds a very good second effort. 184.9, it's uh, probably not enough to uh, win. In fact, I'm certain it won't be, but... Maybe he's now at last finding the sort of form that helped him to win the World Cup back in 1990. Quite a lot of movement uh, throughout the flight for Ladislav Dluhos, uh, very much the local man here from Liberets. Reasonable 106 meter jump and uh, just a little shorter, a couple of meters shorter, and he stays below Nicola. Yanni Ahonen, another 106 meter jumper in the first round. 16 years of age, this talented Finn. Good low body position, reaches for it gets uh, the distance two-footed on landing though didn't get the telemark really but Ahonen who won at Engelberg you see there losing two marks two and a half marks out of 20 deducted must get the telemark to uh, move up to the 19s but the distance that's the key 119 the uh, 
second longest jump of the day, takes him in points over 200, and he now takes the lead. A Honan for Finland. Yeti Palmer, another local favorite here, the uh, most successful Czech ski jumper of all time. Stretches, goes long, gets one. Always want to do well in front of your home crowd. Palmer, four World Cup wins to his credit and a bronze medal with the Czech team. And he's got 113. Got 107 the first time. Uh, but not good enough to overtake young Ahonen. So Palmer into uh, second place, Ahonen still leads and Nicola is now down to third. Pretty steady through the flight here. And the skis are reasonably level. Palmer, whose uh, best result this season, 11th at Engelberg. And he's been in the points on four occasions, so he's certain to uh, score well today now. So now the competition really warming up. Timing too early, the skis go down too late. They come up and almost smack you in the face. But Yuri Palmer, pretty good. Now here's the uh, World Cup champion of last season, the Four Hills champion of last season, but currently third in this year's ranking. This is the young man who uh, suffered quite a lot last weekend at Murau with a nasty cold, and uh, anyone could uh, forgive him. And uh, a pause in proceedings. Goldberger, who's been successful at uh, Courcheval and Innsbruck, so two victories this season. But uh, very much the uh, third best to uh, Espen Bredesen and Jens Weissflog. He's also the uh, youngest of the trio at uh, 21 years of age. Bredesen now 25. And uh, Weissflog, who's actually uh, won here, although not competing here, back in 1984, the 29 year old, the senior of the three. Coach Happy, here goes Andy Goldberger. Often pulls out a good second jump, nice and steady. Oh, that's lovely. Answered the whistles in exactly the right way. Don't you whistle at me, says Andy Goldberger. I'll put the distance down. So there's a 19, he's got 111. That's one metre more than he did the first time. Goes into a second place behind Ahonen of Finland, who still leads. Now Norway, Lassie Ottersen, 19, still looking for that first World Cup victory. He needs uh, certainly, well, 120 metres or anything over that would really put him in a good position. Slaps in quite hard there, the uh, arms away from the side. His uh, particular style, the judges don't really like it, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's losing a couple of points for style there. Yet to uh, get on the podium this season, 115 metres, so he's found distance, and uh, they haven't deducted as much as I thought they might have done. So Otterson to the top of affairs. Now Slovenia, Robert Meglik, he also, like Otterson, jumped 111. Meglik with points at uh, Planica on home snow. And good style in the first round. He got uh, one, three 19s. So every chance to take the lead here now. Ooh. Little flurries of snow and fluctuating wind. It's not easy.
So uh, short of what he needed. Now, are they agreed? Yes, they are. Everybody's saying 18 out of 20. Fifth place, that's uh, still a pretty good effort and will be his best of the season if he uh, holds on to that. Although there are still men who can uh, push him down the order. Here's one of them, my tip, Roberto Chacon. But he's going to have to put in a superb jump now. Italian, nice style, nice distance. But the uh, longer jumpers still to come. Sakala, the homeboy, and uh, also Bredesen, the leader. 19s. Now, will those go across 114 and a half? So, uh, if he wants to win, he's going to have to uh, hope the others falter. But Chacon in uh, decent form. Fourth at Bishop's Open, fifth at Murau, so he should be on the podium. Sakala puts in a huge leap. Hundred and twenty three meters, the longest jump of the day. So far, that is, because Bredesen's still to come. Hill record at 123 and a half metres, held by Yuri Palmer and uh, Yaroslav Sakala, the man you're watching at the moment. So, uh, short of the Hill record by half a metre. He's gone for distance and not style. And uh, very much two-footed, no telemark. And that could be the difference between winning and losing today because the man who follows him in a moment or two has the magic of producing the long jumps as well as the stylish ones. Sakala, though, right to the fore on home territory, but will it be good enough? So now, will this be win number four for the season? He's had three of them, plus three second places, 121 and a half metres. This for victory in Liberets, Espen Bredesen. Oh, he's a little too... He didn't quite get the uh, telemark that he often gets, but he's got distance, and surely that's enough. 19 and a half out of 20. Norwegians uh, gather round. 125 and a half. The new hill record to the World Cup leader, the Four Hills champion, and the man to beat. The man who, in the last Olympic Games, was 57th on the big hill and 58th on the small hill. Last year took two World Championship gold medals and is today, just a few weeks before the Olympic Games, the favourite for all the titles in Lillehammer. But this is a superb leap. Those extra points for distance. He doesn't get the telemark, but what he does is well enough and good enough for victory number four of uh, this season. The Raw Gas World Cup of ski jumping and Bredesen takes another 100 points and without uh, Vice Vlog here, he opens up his advantage. Really good ski jumping. And this man hasn't disappoint, disappointed his Norwegian fans all season. He won the first jump and here we are Jump number 11 of the 25 in the season, and he's got another victory. Beginning to uh, dominate the scene, but it is pretty competitive. Chacon 
I think will be third at the end of the day, and uh, he's certainly my tip for Olympic uh, medals. And here's confirmation, 248.6, so a decisive margin there of 16 points. He takes uh, the victory. Sakala in second place. Chacon's on the podium. Otterson just misses out again. The young Finn Ahonen is beginning to uh, find his form. Goldberger still uh, struggling a little bit, just under 200 points in sixth place. Yuri Palmer, home favourite. That's respectable in seventh. Nicola finding form that's uh, one of his best performances he hasn't been in in fact it's his best of the season so far in ninth place Vaitainen of Finland also up there Ratmaier beginning to uh, show some consistency well there's not too much snow at Liberec as you can see but we'll all be back tomorrow for another World Cup ski jumping competition on this big hill at Liberec and the question is can Bredesen win again and can he extend the hill record that he's just set from myself David Goldstrom thanks for your company do join us for more action from the Czech Republic tomorrow Sunday